Evans Law, July 10th, 2014. Uh, some news broke today about both Arrow and the Flash spinoff, and I haven't done a Captain's Log in a while, and I haven't been talking about every single casting choice and things that we're finding out about these shows, but this one I kind of wanted to mention because it's kind of exciting, so just in case you haven't heard about it yet, I thought I'd put out a video real quick, and um, maybe you'll you'll catch this, and uh, this is how you'll find out about it. So uh, we, have, uh, we have a couple new characters being introduced to the uh, Arrow and Flash universe, and uh, the casting choices are interesting, uh, but the fact that these characters are going to be uh, recurring characters in these shows is even more fascinating. The first is uh, over in Flash, in the third episode, we're going to get uh, Ronnie Raymond, who is one half of Firestorm, and he's going to be played by Robbie Amell. Yeah, because that's not going to get uh, confusing on set. A, a, a guy named Robbie playing a guy named Ronnie. And uh, I, I didn't realize that this guy was Steve Amell's cousin as soon as I saw that that was his last name, because I've, I've seen this guy in previews and things for the Tomorrow People, which, by the way, got canceled, and that's why uh, he's being moved over to this show. He worked with one of the executive producers on Arrow, I guess over on that show, and so uh, he's, he's getting uh, pulled over for Flash. And um, anyway, so... Um, it's, uh, it's no surprise that that's happening, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize that this guy's last name was Amel, and apparently uh, briefly there for a while, Tomorrow People and Arrow were both on Wednesdays, and so uh, it was being called by some the uh, uh, Amel Wednesdays, which is kind of funny, and so anyway, uh, he's going to be playing um, uh, Ronnie Raymond, which uh, who is part of the Firestorm Matrix, and it's going to be interesting to see how long it is before he actually becomes Firestorm, because uh, the way Flat or the way Arrow has been doing things, uh, as soon as somebody that major in the DC, DC, especially somebody that major, and even minor people, uh, get brought in from DC Comics, uh, you, you got to expect that we're actually going to see them become the characters that they are in the comics, because um, unlike what we were doing a few years ago with superhero shows, these things are not shying away at at all anymore from costumes and from superpowers and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and especially Flash being a character that's going to be in a costume running around where people can see him in broad daylight, uh, I really think that if we're bringing in this guy, we're actually going to get to see a Firestorm fairly shortly. So, it's going to be interesting to see who plays the other side of that. More exciting, though, is Brandon Ralph being brought into Arrow, and uh, I, I'm, I mean, I'm more excited in this case about actually the casting choice than I guess I am about the character. He's being brought in to play the Atom, who is a character that uh, I only have a passing familiarity with and have only seen in, in you know, certain things, And uh, but I love Brandon Routh, and I, I mean, I've said a lot of, everybody knows, especially if you watch Rewind, that I'm not a fan of Superman Returns, but it wasn't Brandon Routh's fault, and I've liked him in a lot of other things. I really liked him in shock, and it's neat to see him get to be uh, somebody in DC. Adam seems like somewhat of a minor character for him, maybe, but uh, it'll be really interesting to see if they really flesh that out and do something with him. And uh, he's playing the, I, I guess, Silver Age version of the Adam, and who knows how long it's going to be before he actually gets superpowers. Um, I really kind of figured that Arrow, after Season 2, introducing Flash, but then spinning it off, would start kind of shying away from the superpowers thing and start going a little bit more urban and gritty again, and it's looking like with this, maybe they're not doing that, or maybe he'll, I don't know, I would be very surprised if Brandon Routh was being brought in for a character who was kind of going to be that character in name only, or who would be that character completely, but it would be a really long time before he got superpowers and became a character. It just seems like if you're going to cast Brandon Routh, of all people, you're going to give him superpowers fairly shortly. I'd be really surprised if they didn't do that. So anyway, um, I'm stoked about that, just seeing Brandon Routh show up and play anybody. Um, I, I, I wish that he had become a movie star. Uh, I, I I think he's got the chops, and especially, you know, seeing him in Chuck and things, I, I kind of I kind of wish, like, you know, he got Dylan Dog. he's gotten a couple little things here and there, but it's kind of sad that he's kind of fallen to this kind of B-list uh, TV star, and yeah, a lot of A-list stars are going to TV and stuff, but that's not really the case here. This is a guy who never really made it in the uh, big screen, you know, movie place, and that's a shame, but on the other hand, it's very exciting to hear that he's going to be in this show, so that's really super cool. Um, I am stoked, stoked, stoked for Flash. Uh, I know that the pilot leaked online, and I've not watched it yet, and I'm not going to watch it till it airs, uh, because I'm not going to review it early, and I don't want to know uh, until it's supposed to actually come out. So um, if you've seen it, uh, 
I don't want to know anything. I don't want to know yet. Uh, but anyway, so I'm really stoked for that. I'm really excited about the next season of Arrow. Uh, it's no secret that I wasn't a big fan of the way last season ended, but it did set up some very uh, interesting possibilities moving forward. Other things I want to mention real quick, because I haven't done logs lately. Uh, I saw the most recent Ninja Turtles trailer, and it's been out, uh, what, a week, week and a half now? So I didn't want to make a whole video on it right now, because it's kind of, you know, old news now. The way internet time works, you wait you know, a week, and it's like waiting a year. But anyway, uh, I did want to mention that I'm a little more... A little more excited about the movie than I was before. Uh, the tra the last trailer looked pretty fun, and Whoopi Goldberg is in that movie? Really? Really? And apparently we're just doing Super Shredder right out the gate. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention that I'm not real happy about is that uh, a couple of the producers from Arrow are taking over the writing duties for the uh, Green Arrow comic book, and I don't like that they're getting to do both continuities simultaneously, uh, especially because I've been such a fan of the the uh, of the current series and what Jeff Lemire has been doing with it. So uh, that's that's not cool. Uh, I will read it, uh, or I will at least try it and see what they do with it. And um, I don't know, maybe they can kind of stretch the writing legs a little bit there. And uh, if they I don't know. Uh, if working on the page, they kind of, you know, keep getting better and better as writers, maybe that will translate to the TV show, um, and vice versa. I don't know, but it just seems like keeping up with two different Green Arrow continuities simultaneously is maybe is potentially problematic. So I don't know. I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to not give that a chance. On the other hand, I don't think it's fair to Lemire because he really brought that series back from the dead, and it's been a good long time since Green Arrow has really been worth reading. I think so. Um, I don't know. That's that's not that's not cool. Um, I hope um, Sorrentino um, gets put on a really great book uh, after this because uh, fantastic artwork there. Anyway, um, thanks as always for watching, and uh, leave your comments. What do you think about these casting choices? Are you as stoked as I am to see Brandon Routh coming back to comic book stuff, especially DC things, and uh, what do you think they're going to do with him? Leave your comments, and I will talk to you later on. I'm Captain Logan, and this was today's Captain's Log.